In this video we are going to be looking over this Pentax K1000 35mm film SLR camera and it has uh, this filter on the front but we take that off and we can see it has the Pentax M f2 50mm lens and my goal in this video is to demonstrate the function of this camera as you would want to do if you were inspecting it yourself and so I'm going to start by just stepping down through the shutter speeds. We've got it set at one one thousandth of a second. And we'll just go down through. One one thousandth, one five hundred, one two fiftieth, one one twenty fifth, one sixtieth, one thirtieth, one fifteenth, one eighth, one fourth, one half, one full second, and the bulb setting. And let's stop the lens down here so we can watch those blades close. The lens will stop down and stay stopped down. The shutter will stay open until I release the button. So we saw all that. Let's take the lens off and look at that a little bit here. Um, the lens has pretty nice smooth focus. You can see that works nice and nice clicks on the aperture ring. And if we have it stopped down and look through, we can see aperture blades are pretty quick and snappy. I don't see oil on the blades from either the back or the front here, so that looks pretty good. However, when I backlight this with a pretty bright LED flashlight, we see some pretty significant fog in there. And so I just want to be aware, make you aware of that. Just moving the the light around so that it will catch and show that. Okay. Then if we look in the body of the camera, let's just actuate that once again on the bulb setting. There we see the mirror flipped out of the way. Back to the pressure plate in the back, and then completes the cycle. The lens mounts properly onto the body. And then if we go around the back here and open this up, we can see now the uh, it's got a nice metal film rewind crank and everything inside looks pretty good. Let's again actuate that shutter. We can watch the film transport over there. Let's set that on a sixtieth of a second again. And then over here the, the film door looks pretty good. Um, I don't feel much on the top edge. The bottom edge I feel some sticky residue from from some uh, light seal material so it certainly is breaking down a little bit and could maybe be uh, do for light seals at some point in the near future here. Um, the back closes properly and one thing I noticed that when looking through the viewfinder there is kind of a big ugly splotch that shows up and I think it might be related to the silvering of the mirror or of the the uh, prism but I'm not exactly sure but anyway for size reference, it's probably about a third of the width wide and a third of the width of the height along the bottom. So kind of in the middle of the bottom third of the viewfinder is this big kind of ugly um, mess that looks like silvering problems with the prism. I did set the meter here. Um, on, uh, on an ASA value 
and compared it with values on a uh, DSLR also with a 50 millimeter lens and pointed it at different things and it seemed to track pretty close so um, I think the metering's working let me just put this filter back in Whoop. just gotta get those started just right there it is and then lens cap there comes with a nice uh, nice Pentax strap the, the pliable rubber shoulder pad so all in all a serviceable example of the Pentax K1000 certainly not beautiful will it take pictures as it is I would say it would um, the viewfinder is not very pretty the lens has some fog and uh, light seals are beginning to fail on the inside so be aware of all of that.